You may think your hands are clean, but really, how clean are they? And what about those things you touch every day, like your phone, your computer, the bathroom sink handle, and the refrigerator door? How clean are those items? Want to find out? Let's take the dirty clean hand challenge. First, you'll need a few slices of bread, preferably fresh made at home or from a bakery. The fewer preservatives, the better. You'll also need clear, resealable bags, one for each slice of bread used in the experiment. The first test is for your hands. Before washing, touch a slice of bread. Get your prints all over the body of the bread, but don't press too hard and damage the bread. When you're done, insert the slice of bread into one of the resealable bags and mark it unwashed hands. The second test is for your washed hands. Wash your hands with warm, soapy water for at least 20 seconds. Then touch the bread and seal in a bag. Remember to mark the bag, washed hands. For the third test, let's see how clean your phone is. Touch the bread with a phone and add it to the bag and label the bag, phone. You can also try it with your computer or laptop. Next, Choose an area around the house that gets a lot of touching, such as your bathroom door handle, your stair railing, or your refrigerator door. Touch the item with the bread, put it in the bag, seal it, and label it. Finally, take a clean slice of bread that has not been touched and place it in a bag. You can label this bag, Control. Now, store all the bags in a cool, dry place where they won't be disturbed. Grab a logbook or make a spreadsheet with fields for the different slices of bread. Every week, check the bread slices and mark down what you see. Don't open the bags, just visually inspect them and be as descriptive as possible. Do this for about four weeks. After four weeks, write a conclusion based on your findings you'll probably have a good idea of how important hand washing and cleanliness is to your health, especially when it comes to the food you are eating. We're going to do the experiment as well. Check back next week to see how our bread slices look. And for more interesting stuff at the intersection of food and science, check out our website and our YouTube channel.